Opportunity for the piece that we have on stage by Stephen Penn, and we will take it down. And we're now going to bring up and draw this piece right here. The last time I physically have seen a Don't Drink and Draw original was on the Diamond Princess four and a half years ago. It had a starting price of about eleven thousand dollars. And I remember I had a guest on board uh, shortly after, uh, or about a few years ago, who about that time period bought an original Don't Drink and Draw for ten, eleven thousand. Takes it to an outside appraisal company three months later, and it appraises for a price of thirty-seven thousand dollars. Was he happy? I would think so. And now it's very hard to touch those works for less than sixty-five to one hundred twenty thousand. And that's due to a private commission. And uh, you actually would take about a year, year and a half before you received it. So this is the first Don't Drink and Draw I've seen in a very extensive period. It does have an estimate retail of about 65000 And once I give you the opening bid on this piece, you're going to be absolutely blown away. It's about Wayland's uh, sculptures, glass ones. Actually, I'm not sure whether the reflex is too bad, but the, uh, pretty nice stuff that he does. This is an artist, uh, Tracy Lights, uh, Longo. Uh, it's got a nice, really light star. Oh, Le Leighton Jones. I haven't seen Leighton Jones for a long time. I've actually got a couple of his sketches back in England. Uh, I guess like 40 years ago. I think there were some more. Uh, there's a lot of child stuff like this. There's a few of this artist's uh, work. Quite, uh, quite dramatic actually, I like that. And some more of these huge uh, palette strokes, as you can see. Uh, giving a, a really nice uh, rendition. Here's another, here's another one of those. Again, huge multicolored palette strokes. Simple uh, designs. Here's, here's uh, some more Leighton Jones. Touch with a pen. Uh, we got. We should guess this one. This is Peter Max again. This one seems to be a copy of a, another artist. Pretty, pretty cool. This is signature. Multicolored paint strokes. Actually, it's, he dips uh, his brush into three palettes at the same time. Uh, to give that. Kelly here is a, an English painter. Really nice touch. Looks like it's Venice. Industrial north of England. These are quite popular on cruises. Patricia. Disney cartoons. There's another Clayton Jones. Quite a big piece. It's like four feet by three. Well known artist is Peter Max. And uh, he's renowned for using uh, three or four different paints on one stroke. Uh, gives him a different depth of color. Very pop artist. He was the one that uh, also brought about the cleaning up of the um, Statue of Liberty because uh, it was getting so full of graffiti. There's another one of Bill Max for his elephant themes. And this is uh, Goddard. And these, these are all the originals. He's uh, quite known for his depiction of uh, olives and the martini glass and these will all be going on auction He's become quite a famous artist finding his uh, his fortune out of the, the best Las Vegas crowd as you can imagine pretty good for bar scenes I suppose this one here is a, a Chagall 
and uh, there's another Chagall, these are prints, and depending on who has the, uh, the plate, uh, they might reproduce a number, this is 3 of 50, and this one here is a, a Rembrandt, and below we have, uh, I think this is a uh, Germanic Picasso. more of Bill Max work, some of the earlier stuff. He started to actually paint the uh, the American flag there. There's his wife again. And uh, we know who this guy is, but you see the, uh, the relief that's brought on of the picture, how it stands out from uh, the base. This is uh, Harold Behrens. He was uh, a, uh, an artist for the post office developed a couple of stamps. There's more of Baron's work while he was in Europe. Uh, he uses a palette knife and fingers. This, this one's an, uh, an original Baron's, where the other ones are uh, G Clay's. Uh, it's been embellished, and you can tell that by that it carries the uh, series number at the bottom. This is Nikita. This is when she was 12 years old or so. She's become a pretty well-known artist. This is uh, Bill Mack's work. He's a sculptor come art, well, and painter. A, uh, it's called Bass Relief. This is a, a reproduction of one he sold in uh, in China. The original was well, four feet by four feet and covered in gold leaf. I think it sold for about eighty-two thousand dollars. This is some of his earlier work. Yeah, this is his uh, his wife that he's used a few times.